Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and to another week of What's For Dinner. I'm gonna share one of our favorite recipes that we've used for years. Um, I have some butter and garlic right there sauteing in a pan. And I'm gonna add some, some sour cream and heavy whipping cream. And I'll thicken it up and then I'll add some Parmesan and mozzarella. And you put the chicken in and then you add spinach and a can of these Italian style stewed tomatoes. tomatoes. Um, and I always put in a little bit of this zesty Italian. And I'm gonna do it with some macaroni and some black beans. I think I'm gonna put the Italian in it as well. And I got four pieces of chicken. Um, I tried to butterfly them and I'm gonna stick them in right quick. But this is one of our favorites. I will try and find the recipe and link it below. I don't know, or something similar. I've made this for years. Um, but I know I found it on Pinterest a long time ago, so. Sprinkle some uh, grated parmesan on top. And this is what's for dinner Sunday night. All right, tonight is Monday night, so you know that means spaghetti. So here's everyone's plates: my husband and my boys. I haven't made mine yet, but that is what is for dinner on Monday night is what's today Peyton what day is it Why it's ch it's Tuesday not the day the day of the week never mind it's Tuesday night um I am trying a new recipe I saw on Pinterest it's a uh, crispy ranch chicken and I'm gonna make it a little different and just come to me just now um which someone might have done this but I just thought I thought of it but probably not but um you melt butter and then you're gonna dip the chicken in the melted butter. Um, and then you're gonna put, you're supposed to, it says to put um, corn flakes, like ground corn flakes and dry ranch cheese in it in a bag and shake it. But I have um, some cool 
Cool Ranch Doritos that my boys got and I thought I would mix that with the ranch um, and just see how it was. Maybe mix in some pinko, uh, the plain bread crumbs and we'll see how it tastes. I think it's going to be good. I'll let y'all know. I already ground some, maybe half a bag. It don't look like that much, but it, that's about how much I've ground up. Now I got the bread crumbs and mixtures, so I'll try. There's probably an easier way to do this, but I was trying not to dirty up too much. But I'm gonna roll the chicken in some melted butter. Let that drip off a little. This is really hard with one hand. <laughs> this is not good. All right. Put that down in the bag. This coating is pretty easy. Now let's see how it looks. Make sure it's covered well. Nope, not bad. my 9 by 13 pan already. Yeah, I think this might be good. I mean, it smells good. There. Alright, there's the first one. The chicken coated. Like I showed you, just dipped it in the butter and then in the ranch seasoning mix. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes. I know um, the one without the chips said that they took it out at some point and put tin bowl so it wouldn't burn. Um, so I'll just keep an eye on it and let you know how that goes. But it smells really good. This is the chicken right out of the oven. And it cooked for 35 minutes at 350 and I never covered it up with tin bowl. And I think it looks good. Is the chicken plated up with the macaroni and the corn? Um, I haven't made macaroni honestly in like a year, and they're always like, "Why don't you make macaroni?" So I started getting it the last few weeks. I usually do rice, like with um, meals like this, and more vegetables, but you know. It's summer and I just want to eat them some macaroni some but it, it's pretty good but I personally love homemade macaroni and my husband will be here in a minute so I haven't made his but it looks good and that's what's for dinner on Tuesday night okay and tonight we are having takeout from our favorite Japanese restaurant and that is what is for dinner tonight And this isn't a dinner, this is a quick lunch idea I saw on Pinterest, and it's just cheese, pepperoni, um, I use little crescent rolls, but I've seen people use pizza crust and just any sauce, and I just put it together and made them like little homemade hot pockets, and it was really easy, and I think they liked them. And this is the after. So I can get it. They look really good. And that is theirs. Oh, my fridge ain't shut in. Look at 
this is what they look like. I think they look really good. I'll see how they think they taste, but I just wanted to share a quick little lunch idea I saw on Pinterest and I thought I'd give it a try for them. Hey y'all, tonight is Thursday night. We did some crock pot chicken sandwiches, some pulled chicken, um, and some seasoned potatoes in the air fryer. And we just have it with some of that Walmart brand, the Chick-fil-A sauce. And that is it. Not a lot of dishes. So I've got some waiting for my husband to get home from work. But that is what is for dinner on Thursday night. All right, tonight is Friday night, and I made some, I guess, steamed cabbage on the stove. My boys love this with some turkey sausage, but I actually cooked it in the air fryer. And um, this is my husband's. He's on his way home, so I'm going to put a lid on, lid on it and keep it warm. Um, I did a side of the Knorr, I think that's the brand, you know, the K-N-O-O-R something. Um, I think that's how you spell it, but it's the Spanish rice. And then I had a little bit of bread left over. Um, so, you know, I just put butter and uh, Italian seasoning, garlic powder on it. And put that together. Just a simple, easy, quick throw together Friday night dinner. Um, and that's what is for dinner on this Friday night. Tonight is Saturday night. I made some homemade chicken alfredo sauce. Um, and then I just grilled some chicken or air fried it. Put a little bit of salt, pepper, and just some seasoning on it. Um, and then I just roasted some broccoli in the air fryer as well and put that on the side. And it's just me and the boys. My husband's at a fishing tournament. So that is what we are having for dinner on Saturday night.